is Shauna here, and I am back for 30 Things to Store, where all month long we're talking about 30 things that most people have a need to store and giving you some tips on how to do it. So we are on day 11, day 11, and today we're talking about important documents. Everybody has important documents. And the question I get asked a lot is, where should I put them? And how do I know which items need to be stored in which kind of place? Generally speaking, paper is best stored in hanging files. Files, not piles, okay? Files allow us to look through paperwork and find things, whereas piles, we tend to, things disappear at the bottom of the pile. So I love hanging files. Um, we can also scan in a lot of paperwork if you're a digital person and not have to keep very much physical paper at all. And yet still, we all have documents that we need the original paper versions of, okay? And some of these are so valuable that we don't want to just stick them in a regular drawer or filing cabinet. We want to make sure they are safe. Okay, no matter what happens, come a fire or a flood or theft, we want to try to prevent all these things from damaging our important documents. What do I mean by important documents? The general rule of thumb is anything that would be very difficult for you to replace. So maybe something you would have to go to the government and deal with the government the Department of Motor Vehicles, the passport office, something like that. So be thinking my passport, uh, maybe my social security card, an original birth certificate, anything like that. The title to your car, your wills, anything that it is a formal document that you only have an original one of and it would be tough if you had to go out and replace it. That's what we're talking about today. Now there are, there are many ways you can store it, but I like two particularly. One, you can store these items off-site in a safety deposit box at a bank. That's a nice idea because if you were to have a fire, your documents would be safe outside of your home in a very secure location. There is a small cost for this, and maybe you don't have the convenience that you would have if you keep it in your home, uh, but I like that plan. If you really want them in your home or you don't have a bank nearby and that would just be a hassle, I suggest you get what's called a fire safe box. And this is an example of a fire safe box. It's very heavy, uh, right? They're super heavy. They have extremely thick walls and they will keep your documents safe up to a certain level. I mean, if the whole house melts down, you might lose the documents, but this will protect them from a lot of things that where they would not be protected if they were just in a normal filing cabinet. They come in different sizes. You can get them at any office supply store or an Amazon or a place like that. Some of them just hold kind of the eight and a half by 11 size flat and maybe would store about this much. And if you only have a couple of documents, that's perfect. If you have a lot, you might want to get one of the bigger ones. Where to keep it? That doesn't really matter. Some place you can access. They usually also come with a key so you can lock them for security purposes. Uh, you can stick them maybe under your desk or in a closet in an office. You could put it in the basement. You know, they can go a lot of different places, but maybe think about some, some place where it would be out of sight uh, and you could get to it quickly if you needed to. Always think this through when you have important documents and resist the urge to keep them just in the, an easy access drawer. If it's a big hassle to replace it, keep it safely, either in a safety deposit box or a fire safe box. That's all for today. See you tomorrow on 30 Things to Store.